guys welcome back to our channel so today we have a very exciting video today we are coming to you guys to introduce you to our new family member um as some of you guys know uh i got pregnant and we had a baby yes uh, <laughs> we currently have two um cat uh one is a female named rose one is a male named boy cat uh we did have our two sugar glider males uh however after getting them and messing with them and realizing that i am severely allergic to them and got to where i could no longer handle them we decided to adopt them out to a really good home uh which we get updates on them we get to see pictures of them so they did go to a really good home. They are going to be very well taken care of. And they are still young enough that they can bond with their new owners and have done so um, really well. So, with that being said, um, there were some stipulations for us to get this new family member from dear old Matt. And out of those stipulations, I was able to... Um, complete all of those and keep those up so uh i guess without further ado uh let's introduce our new family member everyone this is milo milo was born um may 2nd he is currently 12 weeks old he is half yorkie and half poodle his mama was a party Yorkie, which is not the standard uh, black and tan, nor the black and silver. She was white, tan, black, silver. Um, the daddy was a white poodle. Um, his current weight right now at 12 weeks of age is one and a half pounds. Um, the vet is estimating him to be about four pounds when he's full grown. Um... I don't know if you can see it in the camera because he's not holding still, but Mr. Milo, <laughs> look that baby, um, has blue-green eyes, which they're not showing like that up in the camera. I don't know why. They're showing like more black. Well, his pupil's pretty big right now. It's all not going to be camera shy. You got to get up in the pictures and let them see you. But, um, yeah, he has blue-green eyes. Um... We, uh, <laughs> potty training is actually going really well. Uh, the vet is suggesting because Parvo is really high right now. Um, I don't know if it's why, but Parvo is extremely high right now. So, he is suggesting that we do not let Milo outside to use the grass at all for, um, until, I'm stuttering all myself, but until he gets all of his, his shots. Um, he has currently had... Uh, two puppy shots. He gets a third puppy shot next week, actually. And then he'll get one more puppy shot after that, along with a uh, rabies shot. So, Mr. Milo is not allowed to go outside. So, we have compromised in Chewy.com, which I will upload the picture now. Has this... Um, it's like fake grass that sits on a tray, and uh, we purchased it or purchased it for him uh, so that he can just kind of get used to, you know, what the grass is like. And I kid you not, it has been a godsend. He is using it religiously. He will go over there. He will pee and poop on it. We do have some pee pads as well, um, just in case, you know, there's some accidents and stuff. Uh, so far... He has been in the bed with us. Um, I'm going to upload a picture right now. As you can see, this is his uh, living arrangements, which originally was going to be his living arrangements while we were potty training and until we could get him outside, which is the little doggy pen. And that has not turned out in that way, shape, or form at all. Um, he sleeps in the bed with us, which Daryl Daddy Matt said absolutely not, but... He does. Not having it. And he does. <laughs> he curls right up in between us. And actually, he curls up with him more than anything. I woke up this morning and he was sleeping on top of Matt's head. So, um, 
you know, the, the Mr. Mino dad here who didn't want no doggy. You could tell who he loves. He I loves, still don't want a dog. He loves his daddy. Um, you know, he's with mommy all day and we play and, and he sleeps and he plays and he sleeps and we potty and then daddy gets home and he plays some more. So, and that was, that was it. We wanted to introduce Mr. Milo and I'll throw up some pictures, you know, in this video to let you see what he looked like when he was first born all the way up until, I think I got pictures all the way up until 11 weeks and then you guys can see him now here at 12 weeks. So this is Mr. Milo, our little man. And, um, you know, in case anybody didn't know, Yorkies and Poodles are hyperallergenic dogs who do not shed. Um, they have like a one coat fur like us, which we don't have fur, we have hair. But, um, you know, like our hair falling out, their hair will fall out or it gets pulled out. But... Any way you look at it, it's not going to be shedding. We have no shedding with him. So, And so far, I was wrong. I thought Mr. Boycat was going to be the one that was going to have a major issue with him. And he has bonded really well with Boycat. It has been Rose, which is more towards his age, the younger kitten, who has struggled and said, yep, I don't know what this is. I'm leery of it. I don't like it. I don't want to play with it. So when Rose is around, she pretty much puts him in his place real quick and is, is done with the playing, where Boy Cat actually plays with him. So we're pretty happy and content with that. That, that kind of eases us to know that the cats are, you know, accepting him as, as well as they are and Mama's done bought a, a door plaque and put it up with them them on there, haven't I? Mm -hmm. So I will insert the picture of that right now. So yeah, um, if there's any questions that you guys wanna wanna ask us about him, or um, if there's anything that you guys are curious about, please leave us a comment in the comment section and. If you like this video, please give us a big fat thumbs up. Um, if you want to see more of Milo, which I imagine we will definitely, definitely film some more Milo. I'm going to throw in some little videos of him playing with Boy Cat. Um, <laughs> Give us a big fat thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, which is now covering up Mr. Milo, but the subscribe button. And as I always say, stay motivated, and we love you guys. Bye.